Stellenbosch University says it is investigating the alleged racism incident in, uh, on its campus. The victim, Babalo Ndwanyana, wants the perpetrator to be taught a lesson. Let's bring in a former minister, Dr. Musibudi Mangena, who led the University of Cape Town's commission into institutional reconciliation and transformation. Doctor, thank you so much uh, for joining us this afternoon. First, let me just get your thoughts in general of this past incident at Stellenbosch. Well, frankly, many of us are, are tired of this thing. You know, every now and then, uh, black people complaining of being harassed, being humiliated, etc., et for no reason other than that they are black. So it's, 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 uh, it's, it's tiring. And I think a lot of us are um, uh, really uh, reaching the end of the road. Mm. Uh, can we isolate this racism incident at Stellenbosch University from the actual institution itself? Yes, it is possible that uh, at uh, a programmatic level, uh, in terms of the rules and so on, uh, probably the institution has got things on paper and they've got processes uh, that they follow in order to try and uh, socialize um, their students and, and the academics uh, differently. But obviously, it seems as though uh, the fault lines of our society uh, emanating from colonialism and, and, and racism continue. And one of them is that um, a, a section of our society continues to make their charges, their children, um, psychologically sick with this disease uh, called racism, which has, uh, has no logic, uh, except that you, you just hate somebody because they are what they are. Um, secondly, I think the, the state has failed. Um, uh, democracy has failed to lift the standard of uh, 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 the status of black people in their own country, economically and socially. Uh, hence, the, the, the feeling by some that uh, uh, black people continue to be their, their underlings. They see them in their homes as uh, domestic servants and in their gardens as uh, gardeners and so on, in their schools as sweepers, on their farms and businesses as workers who don't own anything. And for that reason, um, this uh, feeds into uh, this disease that, that, that we realize uh, uh, on, on a regular basis in, in, our, in our country. So when, when, it's, it's, uh, sorry, Doc, when, when, when you say, you know, you talk about the state has failed, uh, and, and here I want to just focus on the, uh, on higher learning, and you, we were looking at Stellenbosch, your commission, which was, of course, looking into racism uh, at UCT uh, a few years back, four to five years back, found out there was, ra a, a, you know, there, there was entrenched racism there. And we never seem to move forward. Who is supposed to do something about this? And I'm talking about the institutions, the higher learning institutions. Should it be, uh, you know, for argument's sake, uh, the minister, Blayton Zimande, where does it start? Who should do something about it? No, they are public institutions. And so um, the minister representing the state uh, should be firm and there should be laws uh, that criminalize this kind of uh, uh, behavior. And the actions of the state must be swift and firm, such that uh, it deters uh, those who are so indoctrinate, indoctrinated to, to behave like this to, to, to stop. So as long as the state is a uh, and it um, uh, uh, seems to be blasé about this thing, it will not go away. 
Uh, let's just focus in on the, the, you know, this the this young boy. For you know, argument's sake, he goes and he does what he, you know, he breaks into the dorm room, uh, he urinates uh, on the laptop and so forth. Uh, this, it, for me, it's almost you have to also look at where he's coming from, in terms of his parents, his upbringing and so forth. That seems to be, you know, do, do, when you and then you look at uh, the institution can say, but listen, you know, there's nothing much we can do about that. We didn't ask him to do that. Yeah, they can do a lot. I mean, it is um, uh, socialization. Uh, as I was saying, that there are uh, people who continue to believe in the inferiority of black people and the superiority of white people. And so they socialize their children. They feed them this poison that they are uh, superior to other people and that they can abuse uh, other people. And, 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 and so it, it, it is a disease that has no logic, that has no, you can rationalize it. And so they, they continue to teach them, to, to, to rear them in this particular, to nurture them, uh, to continue to believe uh, in this kind of, uh, of uh, attitude towards other people. Mm -hmm. uh, but then if they have it, uh, the state ought to be able to act very swiftly and very firmly, as, as, as I said. But as I say, we too, as a society, we are a 90% majority. That 28 years after democracy, we continue to complain about a 10% minority that is, is uh, humiliating us, oppressing us, discriminating against us, insulting us, and so on. It is not on. And so it, it, that's why I'm saying we, there is a sense in which, as a majority, we are at fault as well. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't be allowing this to happen. Okay. Okay, clear and concise. Thank you so much there for speaking with us, uh, Dr. Mosibudi Mangena. Uh, also, um, if you remember, he led the University of Cape Town's commission into institutional reconciliation and transformation back in 2018, which also found that there was uh, entrenched racism at uh, UCT. Now,